Hey everybody! My name's Beverly and I'm an artist and I'm based in Town Centre Clitheroe. So I paint art, I teach art and I make arty jewellery as well. So today I'm going to be showing you a art making process called mono printing. Mono printing is so much fun and really easy to do from the comfort of your own home. So I'm going to show you a couple examples of a mono print. So oops upside down so there's a monoprint of a rainbow and i did a monoprint of a, a christmas tree so you can make christmas cards or birthday cards really easily so when i was studying for my art degree i did the mono printing process on a really large scaled acrylic piece and these are the results so when I was doing the monoprinting, I was really interested in cake and fluorescent colours. I love fluorescent pink. So these are examples of monoprinting that I did for my art degree. So what you're going to need today for your monoprinting is you are going to need a non-absorbent surface. So that could be a plastic bag it could be a food uh, bag it can be a plastic wallet okay you're also going to need some washing up liquid a little bit and you're going to need a variety of paints so the paints I'm going to be using today are acrylic paints and poster paint so these are artist quality this pink poster paint you can buy from the pound shops this acrylic uh, tube of paint i think i bought from the pound shop in blackburn <laughs> so you can use inexpensive paints you are also going to need a palette this is in the form of a ice cream carton you are also going to need a brush you're going to need a little bit of kitchen roll and you're going to need some paper so you don't need to use expensive paper to print on you can use ends of wrapping paper which is what that is and you can use photocopier paper okay so what is mono printing so mono printing is a singular print so the process is that you paint with paint and a little bit of washing up liquid your image whether that's a tree a cat a dog um, a scene a flower whatever that image might be you paint it onto your non-absorbent surface you lay that flat you put your paper on the top and the paper picks up the paint leaving a print things to remember are that your image will be reversed so lettering is quite tricky so if your name is tom and you write it t-o-m it's going to come out as m-o-t <laughs> so try and think about that if you wanted to add lettering do your lettering in reverse and your word in reverse also so that's a couple of tips so now I'm going to show you the print making process. Hi everybody, so we're here. We've got my plastic wallet and I've got some sticky tape on the ends just to anchor it and secure it to my table top. Next up, what you're going to do is with your palette, you're going to squeeze out some paint. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit of this blue paint. The thing is it doesn't squeeze out so we've got a little bit of blue then next we're going to get a bit of yellow this is a lemon yellow so it's really really yummy okay next up is i'm going to use this iridescent bright pink because i just love it and it'll be really good for you to see on the screen then i'm going to get some washing up liquid just a tad there we go right so i am going to paint a flower design 
So I've washed my brush out, so I've got some water here. Give my brush a wash, take off the excess with my kitchen roll. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get a little bit of soap, pop it in the middle there and a bit of yellow for the centre of my flower. Move it all around so you're coating all your brush. Then we're going to do the centre of the flower. You have to work fairly quickly. Okay, so what, cause what you don't want to happen is you don't want your paint to dry out. Okay, so in between adding colour, wash out your brush. Next, we're going to still take that washing gut liquid and a little bit of pink. I'm going to mix that together here. What the washing up liquid does, it helps the flow of the paint. Okay, so this is just a little flower that I'm doing. You might want to fill in some of the spaces like this. Okay, pop your brush in your water, get your piece of paper and you're going to pop the piece of paper over the top of your design and once you've made that first initial pop down, leave it where it is. Hold it down with one hand and use your other hand to slightly spread the paint underneath. Don't press down too hard because what will happen is the paint will squidge out of the sides. So you just lightly press in. And what's happening here is the paint from the plastic surface is sticking itself to this piece of paper. Okay, so what we need to do is to make sure we've transferred all of that paint to this piece of paper. Now this is where the magic happens. We can then turn back our paper and voila, all is revealed. We have a beautiful flower design. Okay, isn't that fabulous? Love it. Right, so next we can do another design. So what I can suggest is we just add a little bit of water to this surface. Oh, those colours are lovely. And then we can wipe away that excess. We've now got a bit of a soapy surface and we can draw another design. And this time I'm going to show you that you can print on your wrapping paper. Okay, let's go. So I'm going to draw a Christmas tree. So I'm going to add some of my paint in the corner there. We're going to add some blue and a touch of yellow. And then we get this wonderful green colour. Okay. So a simple Christmas tree design, it's just a triangle, okay? Nice bright triangle of green. Okay, remember, it's not gonna dry out too quickly. You can put marks on it like this. You could put squiggles on it like that. But I just wanted to keep it quite plain. So I'm gonna wash out my brush, take off the excess water with my uh, kitchen roll and then I'm going to add some blobs, okay, some fairy lights. Wash out my brush. What do we need next? I think we need a star, don't we, at the top of the tree. Nice bright star at the top of the tree. Wash out my brush. And then we're just going to use a touch of this blue here to make a base. Okay, pop all those away. So then I've got my wrapping paper here. So plain side facing downwards. And we're just going to pop that over my Christmas tree. Remember what I said to hold that side down so that the paper doesn't move. And with my other hand, we're going to smooth over the top of where we think our Christmas tree is. And this is the magic. It's like magic painting. Okay, so I've smoothed all that over. Okay, now I'm going to peel it back. There you go. Got a beautiful Christmas tree. How good's that?
So you could use this idea to print your own Christmas cards. It doesn't have to be a Christmas tree. It could be a star. It could be snowflakes. It could be anything. You can use this idea to make birthday cards and you can make your own wrapping paper. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you that the other non-absorbent surfaces work as well. So I've got here some of my carrier bag. Okay. Then I'm going to wash my brush out and I'm going to use all these amazing colours. So I'm going to use pink and I'm going to do a rainbow. So I'm going to do the pink, wash my brush out. Then I'm going to add some pink to this yellow or yellow to the pink. And I'm going to have this beautiful orange and yellow sort of colour. Then I'm just going to do some yellow. Then I'm going to add some blue to this. Wash my brush out. Then I'm going to add some of this beautiful green colour here. Then I'm going to add some blue and pink. Hopefully we'll get a really lovely purple colour, which we have. That can go at the bottom there. I'm going to get my paper. Okay, got my paper here. Pop it over the top. Remember, same rules apply. Put your hand down there. Use the other hand to smooth out. Okay. And you can see the paper crinkling up. That means this paper is soaking up all that lovely paint that you've put underneath. Okay, now the time for the reveal. Has it worked on the carrier bag? Wow. There you go. I think it has worked perfectly. Hope you enjoyed the mono printing um, and just have fun with it. It's a, it's a great way to get creative in your own home. So I just thought I'd quickly just show you the prints again that we did. So that was the flower. This was the tree done on the wrapping paper. But remember, it doesn't have to be a Christmas tree. It can be anything. And that was the rainbow that we did. So this paper is photocopier paper. So what I want you to do now, guys, is to get your paints out, your brush out and your paper out and just have some fun with a plastic bag and a bit of fairy liquid. OK, my name's Beverly from Atelier Arts. Thank you. Bye.